Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the second update to the Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan that I'm doing with a bunch of lovely ladies here on YouTube and Instagram. And this is created by Sarah, so she will be linked down below as always included with the other ladies that are doing this project. I believe there is a playlist, so I will have that linked down below as well as my videos that I have done in this project. When this project started in June, I think it was, I announced that I was going culture free. I have a lot of stuff in my collection, makeup collection, somewhat in my beauty stash as well, that aren't culture free, so I really want to use those up. I'm not the biggest fan of decluttering unless I have to, so I really want to work through the products first before I consider the decluttering or throwing out kind of thing. This project is ending when I am 100% culture free, which will be in a while because I have some eyeshadows that are not culture free and I have some big palettes in there, so that will be in quite a while. But just as Sarah, I'm going to stop this project when I reach the 100% culture free mark. Not everyone is going to do that, but I, I'm really excited to focus on the non culture free stuff so I can have a complete culture free makeup stash. Overall in the project when we have reached five empties then we can reconsider the items that we have in the project. I'm really looking forward to that because I have some items in here that is not moving very fast and is not matching my skin tone at the moment so um, yeah let's just start with that product because I haven't used it for the last two months. And this is the Maybelline Pure BB Mineral BB Cream, BB Super Cover, I don't know. I bought this in Japan. I was out of my foundation when I was in Japan, so I bought this uh, because it matched my skin tone back then, but obviously I had a tan or something because this is not matching me. Even though I got a lot of sun here in the summer, it didn't match me. I still have to mix it and stuff like that. And it's just too dark, um, so it has already reached the one year mark, so I, mm, yeah. And of course it's all in Japanese, so I can't read anything other than it is made in China and it is 30 milliliters. So hopefully I can get some sun <laughs> next summer and I will reach my five items in this project so I can roll this one out because I'm not I'm, I'm not using it. I'm just not. And it's kind of yellow but you can see here it is quite dark so it's not matching me at the moment. It is looking very very yellow when I have it on my skin so it does not match me. I'm, I'm still to here kind of so yeah that's that. Something that I have been using a lot for the past week and a half, uh, when you see this, it might have been two weeks. Um, it is by Color to from Maybelline as well. It is in Creme de Nude. This one right here, it is a cream shadow. I'm sure you know this type of product. But as you can see, there is a huge dip in it and I'm so excited. I have been trying to use it as an eye primer for the last week, uh, two weeks. Um, it doesn't really work. <laughs> My shadow creases a little bit where my eye opens, you know, in my mobile lid because I have hooded eyelids, somewhat at least. Um, so it creases right there. It's not s extremely bad, so I can't wear it, but it's, it's annoying to look at when you look at yourself in the mirror and you want your makeup to look nice and it really doesn't with this. Um. So I'm kind of experimenting of... Did I hit the glass button? I hit pan! I just noticed! Oh my god, that, ex that is exciting that I hit pan in like two weeks. That's fast. That's extremely fast actually. Well, uh, I haven't really used it be before the last update, so... And until a few weeks ago. So that's exciting. I use a kind of concealer brush, uh, a round fluffy concealer brush. And I just pack it on and put it on my eyelids and blend it out. So yeah, look at that. Can you see that right there? That is pan. How exciting is that? Oh my god. So yeah, I hit pan. 
<laughs> oh my god so yeah of course the goal is to finish all of these items so i'm just going to keep going and if i can do it as in this speed oh my god it will be done very fast faster than i thought it would okay exciting um yeah oh my god hair yeah, please behave please Should I have told you guys the empty in the beginning? <laughs> I guess we're going to take the exciting part last. I have my Yves Rosset uh, Raspberry Lip Balm. This is the cap if you are curious. And this is all I have left. There's not much different from last time. This is a tinted lip balm that I really like to use before I put on my lip product. I have. I've not been the greatest at applying it um, and when I have I kind of use the sides I don't know why I don't really work from the top so there's not that much progress but I have used it a fair bit so that is my progress from the last update I know it's not a lot but I will do my best to use it more the next product is my Maybelline lipstick it is the color sensational in tantalizing taupe which is a nude very very nude color this is all i have left i am so excited for this almost being gone i am panning this lip combo at the moment i have a dark lip liner that i brought in from in for my this is me project pan i believe and then i just top it with this and it mute it is muting the color a little bit so it's not as dark it's still kind of baritone but I can wear it to work apparently. I'm I'm really excited about that. So I have kind of the same progress as last time. That is where I am with the Maybelline lipstick. I think it's a it's it's okay progress and I think it will be more now that I am using it every single morning. And I really really like this lipstick on its own and on top of different type of lip liners. So I think it will be no problem to finish this. In a few months hopefully <laughs> those are the four products that i have in this project right now and i'm not going anytime soon so the empty for this update is my sartkov uh, gliss hair mask and um yeah i really really like this hair mask i'm really sad that schwarzkopf isn't cruelty free but that is just how it is when i put it in i was down to here so it took me not very long to use this up and i'm excited because i have a new hair mask going on that is cruelty free and it's it's quite good i really like it my hair is soft and everything so that's nice i'm going to do a kind of gimme product this is a shower gel from palmolive or something with that it is with the scent olive so it is a deluxe size sample and i am up to here so this is going to be my shower gel for the next two months and uh, I'm pretty sure I can finish this so we can roll in another item and that means I have had two empties so far in this project so I just need three more to reboot this project so I can work on some other items. I don't know if I can do it but I really want to have these three gone by the next update. I have no idea if I can do it. If I can't do it these two will be very very close. I'm pretty sure I can finish this in a month or so. So wish me luck. I really want these items gone from my collection and I really want to say I finished another lipstick this year and a cream shadow will be amazing to have in my yearly makeup empties that I am doing. I am collecting them all in this small white bag right there and it's quite full so I'm pretty proud of myself and I'm extremely happy about where this is going so far. As I said many times before I really want to reboot this project because I don't want to work on this foundation BB cream thing anymore because it does it it's not matching my skin tone because as you can see I'm getting really really pale again because the sun is not really out in the mug anymore. So yeah, that's just a life fact of my life because I don't get tan. Yeah. Can you see it's really really yellow? This is the BB cream. It Nope, it's not going to work. It has a weird smell. It has always smelled like this, so it hasn't gone off or anything. It's not like disgusting smell, but it's like a fake fruity. No, not fruity. I don't know. 
kind of sweet scent but it's not really pleasant <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like subscribe down below if you haven't already i would love for you to be a part of my small family here on youtube if you really want to see more project pants because because i have a lot going on on my channel and i can't stop apparently so i hope you guys are going to stick around if you're new and until my next video please take care bye